Hello all. Today I'm going to derive some formulas which I did not derive last lecture, which is tan del is equal to I A X Q by V plus or V T which is terminal voltage and I X Q cos phi by V T plus I A X Q sin phi this is for the alternator salient pole alternator when it is supplying the load of lagging power factor and when armature resistance is negligent. So let's derive the formula of load angle. So before going to derive we need to draw the phasor diagram of salient pole synchronous generator for lagging load power factor. So let's see. In case of lagging power factor I have already drawn the phasor diagram of alternator for lagging power factor last lecture. So this is my E induced EMF of alternator and this is my IQ quadrature axis current as the load is lagging in nature so I will be like that so what will be the load current the phasor sum of quadrature axis current and diode axis current so this is my IA and current is lagging in nature so voltage will be like that so this is my V and my IDXT will be like that so this will be like that this is ID XT J because ID is here and J of ID XD leads the ID by 90 degree. Similarly, J of J XQ IQ leads the current IQ. So is it fine? So this is my delta the angle between E and B I have already explained it so let's see how to derive the value of del so first I just like to write down the KVL equation of alternator so let's E V plus induced EMF is equal to terminal voltage plus G of IQ XQ plus G of ID XD. we can write it as Vt plus 
gel. आइए माइनस आई डी एक्स क्यू प्लस जे ऑफ आई डी एक्स डी सो वाई आई हैव रिटर्न लाइक दैट दैट वी नो दैट आई ए इज आई डी प्लस आई क्यू Obviously, figure some. So, ID will be for IQ. IQ will be IA minus ID. Is it okay? So, from here we can write it as E is terminal voltage plus. J of I A X Q plus J of I D into X D minus X Q. Here is. आई डी आई डी एक्स क्यू एंड एयर आई डी एक्स डी इज इट फाइन आई डी एक्स डी माइनस आई डी एक्स क्यू सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन ड्रॉ द फेजर डायग्राम लाइक दैट Let's see. This is my axis of load current, and this is my V T plus I A X Q. So where will be I A X Q? Let's see. V T is here. V T. So obviously, from here. we can draw the i a x q which leads the load current i a by 90 degree here is 90 degree is it okay so we can write it as E is E does plus J of I D X D minus X Q. What is E does? E does is nothing but this length. This is my E does. This phaser is E dust. Okay, this is E dust, and total induced EMF is this total. Is it fine? So let's see how can I prove this formula. So. From here, we can write it as V D plus J of I A. These are all phases. Okay. V T is just reference. Angle is zero, so you no need to worry about it. The angle about or angle of terminal voltage but angle of load current will be like that i a magnitude of load current at an angle minus 5 because we are deriving the formula for lagging load and 
this is just simply x cube I'm deriving that I e dust okay from here not from here from here so what will be the value of e dust so let's see vt plus i a x q at an angle for j 90 90 degree minus phi is it fine so e dust will be v t plus i a x q cos of 90 degree minus phi plus j of i a x q sin of 90 minus phi and from here you can write it as finally vt plus iaxq sin phi because cos of 90 minus phi is sin phi just simple plus j of iaxq cos phi 90 sin of 90 minus phi is just cos phi so my e dust is like that so see over here one thing the angle between vt and e is same the angle between vt and e dust because e dust and e are in same line so angle will be also same so if we can determine the angle between e dust and vt which is del also we can calculate the angle between vt and e so what is angle of e dust just simple we can write as tan of del tan of delta is imaginary part by real part so what is imaginary part that is i a x q cos phi by v t plus i a x q sin phi is it okay so that is the formula which I told the list in the list uh, video in last video that you have to remember it when you will uh, solve some problem from salient pole generator you have to use this formula okay so just remember it is very simple to remember just i a x q cos phi by v t plus i a x q sin phi so what will be the value of tan of delta for leading load so you can get the value of tan del if you put just in place of phi just minus phi just replace the phi with minus phi then 
you will get the value of delta in case of leading power factor why for for lagging load current is just lags the voltage vt but for leading load load current leads the voltage vt so that's why phi will be just opposite sign for the leading load so if you put the value of phi as minus phi then you will get tan phi is sorry tan del tan delta will be like that i a x q cos of minus phi is nothing but cos phi cos phi by vt is vt and sin of minus phi is minus sin phi because you know sin is a odd c odd odd signal or odd function so here you will get i a x q sin phi is it okay you can derive it from the from uh, the phasor diagram but you can easily get it by putting the phi as minus phi so is it fine so in next lecture what we will do we will solve a problem on this concept so that your concept will be more clear so thank you if you uh, think that this video is helpful for you you uh, learned something different or learned something new then uh, please do subscribe our channel and like so thank you